Marriage involves joint investments in pretty much everything, from children to property. But when a marriage falls apart, how do courts treat those long-term investments that began before the union? The California case of View v. View examines this question in the context of one bachelor's property contract that wasn't paid off until he had one foot out of his marriage. Shortly before they married, Coraline and Hubert View discussed purchasing a piece of property called Lot 24. However, before their wedding, Hubert entered into an installment contract to buy the land. He put $280 down from his separate funds and immediately took possession of the property. After the couple married, they amassed a little over $700 in community funds and spent about $550 of that toward Lot 24's principal, interest, and taxes. Hubert later executed an oil lease on the property, for which he received a $2,200 bonus payment. He used this money to pay off the balance for Lot 24. Thereafter, Hubert executed and delivered a deed conveying the property to his parents in an effort to prevent Coraline from claiming any sort of right or interest in it. Hubert later filed for divorce in trial court and claimed that Coraline had no right, title, or interest in Lot 24. The court agreed and ruled that Lot 24 was Hubert's separate property. Coraline appealed the property judgment, contending that Lot 24 wasn't entirely the separate property of Hubert and that she was entitled to a portion of the community interest in it.